Baku is the home to International Humanitarian Forum for the fifth time. Every year, with the view of holding a wide range of dialogues on the issues of global interest, exchange of ideas and discussions, renowned state figures, Nobel laureates, heads of influential international organizations, prominent representatives of political, scientific and cultural elite of the world gather at the Humanitarian Forum. The topics of the forum are interesting as usual. Issues of different models of multiculturalism, from theory to humanitarian practice, the importance of preserving the human capital in conditions of mass migration as a basis for sustainable development, transforming of journalism for the information age and its role in ensuring inter-civilizational dialogue, sustainable development and ecological civilization, molecular biology, biophysics, biotechnology and issues of personal training in modern medicine, innovative and ethical problems will be discussed at the forum. In addition, the experts will exchange views on converging technologies and predictions for the future, the main challenges of the 21st century. Welcoming the participants of the forum in Baku, President Ilhamaliyev outlined that the event had already gained a global prestige. Noted that Azovjan attached great importance to international humanitarian cooperation and added that this process plays a vital role in interstate cooperation. Informing that Baku hosts prestigious events of global scale, sports competitions the head of state brought to the attention that these events contribute to intercultural and intercivilizational dialogue. Saying that negative trends currently prevail in the world, President Hamaliyev pointed out that international cooperation can prevent these trends. Informing the guests that Azerbaijan is a member of the Council of Europe, an organization of Islamic cooperation, and both organizations adopted resolutions on just settlement of Nagorno-Karabakh conflict, the head of state stressed that Azerbaijan will continue to contribute to strengthening of interreligious and intercultural dialogue, and outlined that multiculturalism has strong foundation in Azerbaijan. Accentuating that there has never been a conflict in Azerbaijan on ethnic and religious grounds and representatives of all religions enjoy equal rights here, President Ilhamaliyev stated that multiculturalism is the national wealth of our people, and these trends in the society further strengthen the state walls of Azerbaijan. Informing that 2016 was declared as the year of multiculturalism in Azerbaijan and a number of respective events were organized, the head of state brought to the attention that multiculturalism trends in some parts of the world are under threat and added that there is no alternative to it. Underlining that radicalization against migrants in Europe had strengthened in recent years, President Ilhamaliyev expressed concern over equation of Islam with terrorism, informing the guests that Azerbaijan and its people faced humanitarian crisis in the 90s as a result of military aggression of Armenia. More than 1 million people became IDPs, 20% of our lands were occupied, historic and religious monuments were destroyed, Hojali genocide was committed, the head of state stated that international organizations unanimously supported the position of Azerbaijan but Armenia disregarded all resolutions of international organizations and further underlined that there is double standards in this issue. Pointing out that Azerbaijan is strengthening and developing present Ilhamaliyev said humanitarian issues are under close attention, added that education and health facilities are being constructed, the living conditions of IDPs are being improved and spoke about the economic achievements gained in recent years. Azerbaijan ranked 37 for its competitiveness in the rankings of Davos Economic Forum, and this is a great achievement for a young state, said President Ilham Aliyev and informed that independent Azerbaijan gained many achievements in 25 years. Deputy Prime Minister of Russia Olga Golodets read out the letter of President of the Russian Federation Vladimir Putin to the participants of the forum. In his letter, the Russian head of state expressed confidence that the issues on the agenda of the forum, which became famous in the world in a relatively short period of time, will contribute to humanitarian cooperation in the world. Russian Deputy Prime Minister Olga Golodets attached importance to relations among peoples on all levels, underlined the significance of joint activity of presence of Azerbaijan and Russia in this regard. Olga Golodets said there is a great feature of humanitarian relations between the two countries. UN Deputy Secretary General Jehan Sultanoglu read out the letter of UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon to the participants of the forum. In his letter, highly assessing the participation of President Ilham Aliyev at the World Humanitarian Summit in Istanbul, Ban Ki-moon expressed concern over the migrant crisis and underlined that Baku International Humanitarian Forum contributes to prevention of these crises. 
Addressing the event on behalf of UNDP, UN Deputy Secretary General Jan Sultanoğlu expressed gratitude to President Ilham Ali for supporting this event. Noting that this forum makes a great contribution to the events foreseen by the UN within the framework of sustainable development till 2030, she congratulated Azerbaijan for its achievements during 25 years of independence. Stating that economic growth, social reforms, the launch of Assam brand are among significant achievements, Jihan Sultanoğlu praised the activity of Azerbaijan peacekeepers in the conflict zones, an overall contribution of Azerbaijan to humanitarian cooperation. She expressed confidence that Azerbaijan will maintain its active role in advancing the UN Sustainable Development Goals. Director General of ISESCO Abdulaziz Osman al Tuajri stated that thanks to the efforts and initiatives of President Ilham Aliyev, a great contribution had been made to peace and cooperation in the world. Azerbaijan became a venue for important events of UNESCO and ISESCO, said Tuajri, and attached importance to intensifying the efforts by big countries for protection of peace and security. Noting that the UN Security Council must be more active in the settlement of Nagorno-Karabakh conflict as in other conflicts, Director General of ISESCO stressed that any delays can yield grave consequences. He stated that ISESCO will further support the efforts of Azerbaijan aimed at restoration of its territorial integrity. Deputy Director General of UNESCO Gitachu Ngida brought to the attention that in a time of current peace-threatening globalization, poverty is increasing, the number of refugees and IDPs is rising, and underlined that especially children and youth suffer from all these. He can wait the concern of UNESCO over destruction of cultural heritage during conflicts and attach great importance to strengthening the measures for prevention of such cases. Touching on the importance of further strengthening of peace culture in the world, Angida spoke about the achievements of Intercultural Dialogue Forum initiated by Azerbaijan, main partner of UNESCO. Thus, the official opening ceremony of the 5th Baku International Humanitarian Forum ended.